So in this, we are going to see some more operations of array. Now I want to create a range of values as my array. So for example, here we are declaring an array called numbers where it consists of values from one to three. I can give like this. So after the execution of the statement, the dollar numbers will have the value as one, two, three. Because it is given as one starting value. Range is a function, built-in function in PHP. So when you execute the statement, range, the first parameter will be the lower value and the second parameter will be the higher value. So in between values will be delta along with the upper and lower limit. So now after the execution of the statement, the values will be the number, dollar number will consist of one, two, three as its value. Same way here, let us, this is an another array declared and range is given us from small a to z, which means alphabetical. All small letters, small alphabets will be the range, will be the array values of this letter. We can see that. Uh, I'll show you how to, uh, I'll show you the output of this. A reverse, I want all these values from 7 to 4. Anyway, so it prints 7, 6, 5, 4. That it will do. We'll see how this works. Equal to range, let me give 7 to 7 to 3. And we give a print all to see our output. Now I same way you can view alphabet equal to range. It will be like this and we check our output. Now, since uh, print thought will not generate any new uh, new line, so I am giving a new line here. So that output will be me. Now, we'll check the output. This in demo one. See here, this is from now array zero. Array zero seven. Uh, in the uh, that is the first zero the index seven, first index six, second index five, three is the one which is given in the square bracket is the index. Okay, it prints as a key. Now you should not say it as an index, the key. For that key, you have the value 4 and so on. Now, the next one, what, what we have done. Here we have, first we have, we have printed this. The next is A to Z. So, we'll see. Here, for the key value 0, we have A. For the key value 1, we have B and so on till Z. So print or is one way of printing an array, but it will print it as an associated array. Just know how the values are printed we have seen like this. Okay, now uh, we'll see one more example uh, of the associative array. So how to address the values in the associate? This is one more example. So we have declared an array called data and we have given, uh, we have declared the associated array. Here, this is the key and the value again for the key value. Again. So, all I are separated by the comma. Now, we are uh, displaying the value for a particular key. It is password is dollar data password. How to give the full spelling? Then, one day it will print, or else it will give you error. So, whatever you have declared, uh, you have to give with the full spelling. So, here the password is, again, this is the output which I have pasted after executing that. Now, we'll see uh, some other functions which can be used along with the 
array. So count and size of. It will give you how many elements present in the array. So let us take this example. Park color array red, green, blue. So now there are three elements on that in this array. Now we want to know how many elements are there. So you can uh, give the building function. You can apply it to the array name. So how you can do is count, then you can give the name of the array. Now this is a variable size. So when you echo the statement, that you print the statement, dollar size, you will get the answer of three because there are three values, three elements in this array. Now, if you see the for associative array also, you can execute the information. So just here you have to give the array name. So this is the array associative array. It has one, two, three. Three values are there. So again, the size is three. So this yeah, for the same program, we have applied this. So this is an associative array dictated with the two values. So when you print the total number of elements, it will it will print it as it will give the value as here this is the output register. The password is the value, of, the password is admin. That's what it is printed. Now we have seen a printing of array, both index and associated array using print underscore r function. It is a building function. Now, is there any other functions which can is there any other way where we can access individual element print or will not allow us to access the individual element. It just print the values. So is there any other way in which we can print separate elements? Or is there any other way we can print the values? Yes, we have. So what is it? So first we will see for the numerical array, like our for loop. We can use for loop to print the values in the array. So how to do that? Now this program is a PHP program where we have uh, HTML coding. Within that, we have embedded the PHP. So title we have given using a for loop. Then H1 we are uh, printing it on the browser. Now this is a PHP coding where we are assigning uh, a variable uh, array variable called cost. And then uh, uh, it's a numerical array where we assign the values BMW. Uh, for zero index and so on. Now we want to print this. You can use printer, but when you use printer, it will print it as an associate. But I want this to be printed as a numerical array itself. There you have to do your own coding. So for we are using a loop variable for dollar i. I already told you this is a for uh, variable. You it has to be preceded by dollar. So now this is a local uh, loop variable. For i equal to 0, i less than count. Count will give you how many elements in that array. So here you can execute that count and on that. So actually this is a uh, mistake I had done. Here you have to give the cars. Okay. So this is not actors. This is cars. And then i plus 1. Now when we print this echo dollar i, uh, here what happens? Uh, you are using the escape character. So that I want this dollar it is has to be printed as dollar cars of zero dollar cars of one like this i want this to be printed so you have to use the escape character here then equal to the value this one so it will be printed like this now we'll see how it gets executed see that i'll show you how it gets executed Here must be cars. Okay. Oh, So now we are going to execute this. See here, using the for loop to loop over an array. So this is printed, h1 is printed. Now 
now this is what we have declared using the for loop we are printing this value so i want this to appear as like this so all at cost we the whole uh, array has to be printed if i don't give this escape character i'll show you what happens already we have seen that uh, problem if you don't give that see here left hand side equal because it's substituted value if you remove that if you substitute how it is substituting the value it substitute that value this value is printed but i don't want that i want to uh, print as such so this should not be interpreted so in that case i have to give this as uh, that, uh, that is escape character in that case it will not do that interpretation it will take this as as such so now when you execute this program we, we will get this as the variable name and then it's zero so the whole thing will be escaped now it prints the value which is stored in this uh, array variable okay so using the for loop you can iterate the array the given array and print the value so this is one way of printing the numerical array another one is as we have seen the print or function so here you have to give the name of the array print underscore r then name of the array you have to give so this is what so i'll i'll show you in the same program when you are going to use a print or already we have seen but anyway print underscore r then dollar Now we'll see how it executes. See here the same uh, numerical array. When I use it in the for loop, it gets printed correctly like a numerical array. But when you use print or, it will be printed like a associative array where this will be considered as a key and this is the value. So key and value. Now. Like Next, we'll go for while loop. How to print the array using the while loop? So here we have declared an array called H. This is an associative array because this side we have the string value. And you see a string value automatically. You can say when you write within quotes, you can say that as the associative array. This is a key. And these are the values of the integral. So age of Ram is 25, age of Rani is 26, age of Raghav is 30. Like that you can interpret. And how to print this value and associate it. As we have seen already, you can use print underscore r. Or you can use one more function called list. So the list syntax is list of dollar key comma dollar value equal to here we are using while loop. So in while loop, how you can do is you are taking it as list key and value. So you pass this value each of dollar h equal to each of dollar h means dollar h is the name of the array. So this is the syntax. So while list of dollar key comma dollar value. Here these are all also the local variable. Here it is not necessary that you have to give key and value you can give x and y also even if you give x and y to x the key uh, say for example if you take this the key is ram that will be uh, passed to this and for this value this value 25 is passed so this is that when you give each there is no need for giving increment Normally in while loop, what we do in the previous cases, what we have seen is before that initialization will be done, here the expression that is condition, then within the loop we do increment or decrement. Where everything is done here. So when we say list dollar key and each dollar is the first value from this is automatically taken. Then the next next value will be done by this statement each. So this each will take care of incrementing to the next next value till the end of the array whereas here we have used count 
in this program we have used for okay for numerical array whereas here for the associative array you can print an associative array using the while loop in this way so in uh, using the list function and this uh, operator each so when you execute this program you will be having uh, here in this echo what we have done is we have explicitly written like key then dollar key we have printed this value comma uh, then value is this dollar value this is what we have printed now when you see this key is wrong value is 25 like that it is printed now we'll see how it gets executed so i just we'll see how it gets executed. Here you can give a single state, single come quotes also. Is, as I have copied from the video. I'm changing these quotes. And here, okay. Now I'm save this. <coughs> Oh, I'm just exuding this. I'm going to exude this this time. I'll print. See here? Yes. It's because of the semicolon that is also appearing because it is given in a echo statement. So, like that, you can access that associative array. 